And the Festa in Ludlow is celebrating Portuguese culture and faith for the fourth day this holiday weekend. And tonight is known to be one of the most memorable nights of the event. And 22 News reporter Nicole Buddy joins us live in the studio now with the traditions held this evening. That's right, Kiara. There are two traditions the Portuguese community looks forward to every year when Festa comes back to the low, and that's the outdoor mass followed by a candlelight procession. They want to keep their traditions, their faith alive, and I think this really helps do that to a great degree. Sunday evening at Festa drew in the Portuguese community from all over the country, some traveling from as far as Syracuse. Uh, my wife was actually, her parents were born in Portugal. She was born in Brazil. Our Lady of Fatima Parish hosting the community and tradition, with the mass including a visit from the Auxiliary Bishop of Poland and a friar from Brazil. Gates opening at 7 a.m. Sunday morning, with family and friends laying out candles for loved ones ahead of mass. Put the, the candles in the, for the intention of their families or someone that is sick, someone that needs, you know, uh, help from uh, our later Fatimas. And the final tradition of the evening, a candlelight procession, bringing the Portuguese community to streets of Ludlow, walking hand in hand. This has been going on for so many years, and we all need to come out here and represent the Portuguese. Traditions bringing the Portuguese together stronger than ever. Now there's still one more day of Festa, so if you haven't been yet, you can head to Ludlow tomorrow, where gates will open at 1 p.m., and it all wraps up tomorrow evening at 6. For now, working for you, Nicole Buddy, 22 News.